Yo, Iron Low, what's up? Doing good, man. How are you? What's up? Is that a good spot for my camera? Let me move around a little bit. How you doing, man? Um, I'm blocking. Uh, can't really get out of it. I'm going to end up blocking something at some point. Let me move my camera. You had pizza and sweet tea for breakfast? Oh, uh, hell yeah. And you got your old mattress replaced yesterday? Um, Dude, replacing a mattress, like getting a new mattress, is like one of the best things ever. We had, I'm going to put, I'm going to put my camera right over here. I don't know if that's going to, you know what? Hold on. A lot of times when I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, what the best spot is to put my camera. A lot of times when I'm tracking a mission or they do it, it's over here on the right, right? So I don't really care about that. What if I put my face right here underneath the map? Like right there. Bam. That'll work. And then I'm gonna reverse that shit. Mattress looks well. Yeah, we uh, I think like a year ago, man, we got we got a new mattress, and it was like the best thing ever. I'm just gonna leave my camera there, dude. For like an hour and a half, I've been trying to get stream going, and uh, I think I've I think I made a massive mistake. <laughs> uh, let me untrack this mission. About a year ago. Uh, maybe a year ago, maybe a little bit more. I can't remember now. I got two, I got two PCs, right? I had, I had one PC already. I got a second one so that I could use as my streaming PC. Um, well, I, I used a newer one as my gaming PC and then my old one as a streaming PC, but it massively overcomplicated everything. And, uh, while it is nice to be able to play something like on max settings and stuff, and not have to worry about my computer being bogged down. It infinitely complicates things. And uh, I don't like, I don't want to like just stream a game on PC. You know what I mean? Like I, there's stuff I play on either PC that have consoles. I like to play stuff on there and having to, it, it's just overcomplicates things, man. So uh, there's been so many times like in the last couple months, I've went to start a stream and start setting things up. And then I run into an issue when it wants to update. Now I can't see my camera, audio isn't working. And I'll spend 45 minutes to an hour trying to get things set up. And then eventually a point comes where I'm like, they don't even want to fucking stream anymore. <laughs> so I just shut everything down and I just play something and I end up not streaming. And I was so close to that this morning because I've been at the, I've been at my desk for almost an hour and a half. I'm just, I'm just now starting to play. It's crazy. And the game get crashed a bunch. I've I've actually been lucky with Cyberpunk. It hasn't been crashing on me. I'm gonna knock on my desk. Uh, it hasn't been crashing on me. I think I figured out why um, I was having crashing issues, and I need to make sure the utility's running. Um, <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. So uh, let me click over and make sure it's running. So I, I really I bought this PC pre-built, right? It's a brand new PC, but it was pre-built, and uh, I had found out that my can my PC came from the factory like overclocked, um, right? And uh, it was too much. I think it was just like Windows was bricking whatever is pulling the most power because it was trying to keep itself from, you know, having an issue. Um, so once I found out, once I found that out, uh, I found a utility that can, because I couldn't figure out how to do it in BIOS. I'm not smart enough to do that. But I figured out the small like Intel utility that can push the clocking percentages down, whatever. So uh, I try every time I, sh I cut my PC on to turn it to 50 for uh, performance cores and 40 for efficiency, whatever it is. It's just turned up too much. So I turn it down a little bit. So whenever I do fire up a game that is as intense as Cyberpunk or uh, even Hogwarts Legacy was doing it because it uses Unreal 5, uh, it would throw my my hard drive, my SSD would be running at 100% for like five seconds and then bam, the windows would shut down whatever it is because I guess it thought it was an error or something. But hopefully, I, th I think we've got that figured out so far. Yeah. Undermining me the whole time. <laughs> Dude, I, I need to like sit down one day and get things set up so I can just like press two or three buttons and go. But it's it's hard when you have even when you just have one PC, like I was trying to stream yesterday, I was trying to stream beyond Shadowgate. I've been looking forward to that game for like the last year, right? I have the original on NES. I don't have my NES anymore. It's busted, but I got the original, right? Or NES. And I love that game. Uh, beyond Shadowgate came out and I wanted to play it and the game won't run on my computer. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> It runs and then I shut it down and then when I go to start it again, it, it doesn't play. It just starts up and stops immediately. And I thought maybe it was some, I don't know, I did a bunch of stuff and I got it working and then it started doing it again. Coffee had the idea of trying it somewhere else, so they do sell it on GOG. So uh, I refunded the game on Steam and repurchased it with the DLC on GOG and it was working. I had to restart my computer. When I restarted my computer, now it won't open anywhere. So yesterday I was for like 45 minutes or so I was getting things set up. I'm going to drive around for a quick while I'm talking. Yesterday I was getting things set up so I could play probably one of the most um, least demanding games of all time, right? I mean, it looks like it, it looks like the game is meant for the NES and I couldn't even stream that. I'm just like always riddled with technical issues. It's so annoying. Yeah, dude. So this morning I was going to play that. I was like, I'm not even going to fucking try. And then I thought it'd be easy to get Cyberpunk running. That turned into a, a whole catastrophe, unfortunately. But I, I got it working, finally. So we shouldn't have any issues. Um, even though I'm running a couple a couple hardcore mods. <laughs> Instead of just doing things simply. I'm running a mod called Dreampunk. I don't know if it ran to a wall. I don't know how well it, turn, it shows up on stream. Um, I need to go into the inner city somewhere. We'll go to my apartment. Yeah. Um, I don't know how good it's going to show up on stream because, you know, Twitch be twitching. But uh, I'm running a mod called Dreampunk 2.0. It, like, it's basically a reshader. It drastically improves the textures for everything. And uh, I don't know how loud the game is compared to my voice. But hopefully it's okay. Uh... It looks really good. When I play in 4K, it looks it looks like a freaking movie. How's the game volume? Hopefully it sounds good. I don't know why it's glitching back to back and forth, but some of the original screenshots look modeled. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm I'm playing with uh DLSS performance right now too because um the mods are pretty strong especially when I when I play it in 4k I have like all my settings set up for that I could probably turn DSL DLSS back to like quality or something like that but I have to keep it on without it it runs absolutely horrible audio sounds good okay good thank you what was that noise
Are you downloaded to mods for it? Yeah, there's so many. There's a lot of perverted mods out there, too. You gotta be careful. <laughs> um, yeah, on Nexus, I think. Uh, there's, there's a shit ton of mods. Um, I have a couple. One's a reshade mod. Um, I have one for turning off the HUD. The Doom reshade one. Yes, I remember you talked about that one, I think. Yeah, I have one for simple HUD turn off because there's no button in uh, Cyberpunk by default that just turns off your HUD. So I got one that um, you can bind it to whatever. So I have it bound to the delete key. So I can turn the, uh, the HUD off, take good screenshots. And then I found one that's a flying mod, which I'll show you in a minute. It's so cool. Um, I got it so I could take like some some awesome like aerial footage and stuff and you can fly around the city um which is really cool because you can't fly around in cyberpunk it's always like from the street view so being able to fly i'm getting like some stuttering which is weird of course i'm gonna always get some issues when i'm streaming it's all good we're gonna stop here take a nap get a cup of coffee in the shower boost all our xp gains Strange part is one of those mods requires this underwear <laughs> uh, underwear removal mod. Yeah, that sounds right. There's a I man. There's so many in there. I saw a mod that uh, ah fuck what it's called. What's the the brain dance bar? Um, like Lizzie or something. It's where you go to talk to uh, what's her name in the beginning of the game. You meet Judy for the first time there. It's like a <laughs> right. It's a brain dance bar, but there's no brain dances you can do. But there's a mod that uh, I haven't tried it, of course. But it gives you a menu when you enter the place, so you can actually watch all sorts of brain dances. Yeah, yeah, the blue hair chick. I forgot the name of the bar. Uh, Moxie, the Moxes, the Moxies work out of there. But uh, yeah, it gives you like a whole menu where you can watch brain dance with a bunch of characters from the game. I mean, it's cool that there's stuff in there like that. Uh, yeah, this is my, uh, corpo apartment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm super far into the game. Um, with my current character, uh, V, um, I'm running a female V and I'm playing as a street rat. No, street kid. Street rat. A street kid. Um, and I'm pretty much maxed out like i'm i just want to do all the story stuff i want to do all the gigs all the side quests um all the stuff for all the fixers and all that i'm not in a rush to beat the game with this character because i already beat the game once um i would like to get a different ending this time but i haven't really looked up the endings to know if that's if i'm on track to do that i'm just playing the game um uh, uh, but there's like a this um nocturne op55 Quest. This is like the last quest of the game. Like you do this one, and I'm and if I remember correctly, this leads towards the uh, the end of the game, um, which they keep trying to get me to do. But I want to do all the side quests, all the uh, all the cyber psychos. I want to finish all those, defeat all those. I never did that. Hi Ashley with the raid, bro. What's up, dude? Dude, thank you for the raid. I was not expecting to have to talk to that many people this morning. Hello. <laughs> How was your stream, dude? <laughs> I wasn't even going to stream this morning. It was meant to be. Welcome. I forgot I had that sound in there. Hey, thank you for following. How am I? <laughs> yeah. Are you played Forgive Me Father too? Is that out already? Yeah, thank you. Hey, the hello, Raiders. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, check out my mug, dude. The, uh, side story about this mug. This was made in 2015. There's only like 2,000 of them. And they're selling on eBay for like $500. And I just drink out of it daily. It's got a headless horseman. It's a headless pumpkin. <laughs> I didn't know Forgive Me Father 2 was out. I'm super behind on everything, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah. Scott's Queen. Hey, how's it going? Happy birthday. 
Uh, six degrees of freedom. Hyperviolent is payable. I still need to play Hyperviolent, dude. I haven't played it, man. I feel bad. All right, let me let V take a sleep. Take a nap. Oh, no, no. Okay, gotcha. It's an early access. Dude, I, I got pretty far in the first one, and I never finished it. Because I, I suck. I don't ever finish anything. Hyperviolent's good. There's a lot of games I'm behind on. Or uh, that I started and never finished. Because, like I said, I suck, man. I, my problem is I try to take on too much at the same time and I end up completing nothing. <clears throat> Not bad. I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, dude. I'm I'm not even going to list all the games I'm currently trying to play at the same time, but there's a lot. And they're scattered across consoles. On the Switch, on the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh my god, I love Cyberpunk, dude. Cyberpunk. <laughs> I this is like my my fall back to chill game lately. Um for for a while. I got a couple hundred hours and I played on the Xbox X too. I have uh, a separate playthrough going on on there as a corpo. Um I'm playing as a uh, I do. Yeah. I'm playing as female V this time. She's pretty badass. Um she's a uh, street kid. I got Johnny's old jacket. I should have streamed this last night because I got the band. I got Samurai, the band, back together for a final show. We had a, um, we put on a little concert at a bar downtown. <laughs> it was really cool. I recorded it. Um, gave up keeping track. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never even started because I was just going to hurt myself trying to. Yeah, I got a couple mods installed. One, like, I could turn off the HUD. The other one's a, um, a flying mod. Which, it makes this, it makes Night City look so much crazy, dude. Being able to get these aerial views. So, yeah, I think it's the three mods I have. Dreampunk 2.0, which I think is locked behind a Patreon uh, page. So, I have that one. And then the flying mod. And the, uh, being able to turn off the HUD. It's crazy. You need to decompress a bit? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for the raid, Hasha. Take it easy, dude. Enjoy the lurk. All right. Now I need to get back to my car. Yeah. I want to take, like, just aerial shots of this game, man. Like, just... Like, uh... Just, like, ambient shit. Ambient stuff. Where's my car at? They despawned my car? Oh. One of my new favorite cars... This thing is sweet. Hold on a second. I got a bunch of cars. I love this one right here. Oh, where's that? Did you put it on? Oh, right here. Bro, get out. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Kind of looks like a Camaro, but not really. thing's sweet. It's got like an NUSA flag on top. It's got, you know, it's a V8 quad cam something something or other. I don't know. Love this car. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be doing some gigs. I've been trying to, I've already beat the game before with another character. With this one, I'm trying, I want to do everything. All the cyber psychos, um, all the gigs that I have available for fixers, all these little side quests. Some of these little side jobs, it says that they're not going to be any major deal or anything. Some of these things are pretty awesome. Like yesterday I found, <laughs> it was the most funny thing ever, but uh, I found this gun called Skippy. This gun has an AI character built into it that reminds me of the uh, paperclip from like Windows back in the day. Um, Turn my music off. Where is it? This one. <laughs> So if you like try to aim at an enemy, it'll like talk and shit. <laughs> there was like a whole little video like uh cutscene that played with Skippy and he's trying to explain what he does and he's talking he's talking to you and stuff. But it's a smart pistol and at the moment, um I have the ability to use it, but I don't have the uh There's an implant you need to install, which I don't have. 
because I haven't used any smart pistols in this game. Which I should because I'm I'm basically a net runner. I put all my points in intelligence and technical ability first. Uh, so I can get massive net running capabilities. There's also I mean there's a bunch of different ways to play this game. Some people just try to go uh straight like strength and melee and stuff like that. I like being able to hack and try to run missions like stealth as possible and you can hack cars and you can automatically apply brakes on cars, slam the gas, you can detonate cars. Um there's a there's an addition for your cyber deck you can get eventually after a while that you can pretty much just hack somebody's brain and command them to commit suicide and they don't even realize that they're doing it. Um, yeah, I'm running into everything. Uh, I only do it in the most extreme of situations when my life is in danger. Uh, but there's a bunch of shit you can do. Uh, I'm going to go to... Let's do a gig. Let's do this one over here. Serious side effects. Find a Booker Updike. I'm not sure who that is, but let's do that one. I think this is one I've already started before, but never finished. And we need to go this way. Find a beta acid container. Yeah, I think I feel like this gig I started forever ago and I never finished it. Uh, do we need to go down or nope? Ah, oh, shit. We're going to get rerouted. I took a wrong turn. I get some, like, occasional stutters like I just did. Um, when loading into different areas. I don't know if it's because I have so much shit going on in this game. But, other than that, it's been running pretty good. I normally play it up on the big screen that's on the wall in 4K. I'm playing it on this screen in 1440, so it should be fine. Hopefully. Dude, this game just looks so good, man. It looks so good. Even on Xbox, excuse me, even on Xbox, like in performance load, it looks fantastic. Alright, we need to go this way. Excuse me. Excuse me. I just ran into a cop. I just killed. I just killed a cop. Okay, so I can't do this. I can't do this job right now. I need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> that's my bad. I was driving. I was definitely driving recklessly. That's my fault. I hope he's okay. Shit, that's them right here. Yup. We're just gonna. We're just gonna run away. If, uh, it's like GTA 5. If you piss them off enough, you'll get five stars and they'll come after you. And then at five stars, Max Tac comes. And I've never, I've never been able to defeat Max Tac. They, uh, absolutely annihilate me, dude. Okay, there we go. Good to go. Uh, take this one. I don't know if anybody's a fan of Edge Runners, the anime, but uh, Netflix just announced that they have a new thing they're about to reveal soon that they did in collaboration with CD Projekt Red. A new bit. Uh, they haven't said if it's going to be like a, a sequel to uh, Edge Runners, like season two or anything like that. I don't think it will be. It might. I'm sure it has something to do with Cyberpunk because it was clearly Cyberpunk themed. Um, but I'm still, I'm freaking excited. I don't care if it is a sequel to it or just another story in the world of cyberpunk that it just has different characters and a different story. Either way, I, I love that anime. It was so freaking good. So I'm looking forward to whatever the hell it is. Cray, what's up, dude? Dude, I haven't seen you in a while, man. How you doing? Hey, man, you want to watch out, dude? Walk. Oh shit, he wants to scrap, bro. Bro. Oh, now the cops are coming again, dude. Bro, come on. Been busy? I, I hear you, bro. 
Bro, I'm never going to be able to do this side quest because I'm just pissing off the cops everywhere. <laughs> I need to get out of here again. <laughs> I just want to do this side quest to see what's going on. And I keep... Well, the first time I ran over a cop and killed him, that's, that's my fault. I'll admit that. <clears throat> this time, dude... That guy came up on me, dude. Nobody does that. Why would you walk that close to somebody? <clears throat> Alright, we're good to go. How you been, Kare? What's new with your bro? Yeah, bro. Give me some some oxygen space, bro. I still don't... Ooh, that was a good turn. Okay, I still can't drive this car perfectly. It's incredibly powerful. Way more powerful than the, like, Toyota Camry I drive in real life. <laughs> or whatever the hell I have. I don't even know what my car is. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so I think I started this gig before. <clears throat> so we're not going to get a call from a fixer, but... Um... I either needed to find a beta acid container or find this guy Booker Updike. Guess I'll just continue with it. Okay. What do you want? You deadlifted 315 last night. About to roll out set for an nice dude. That's a, that's a lot of weight. How's how's the uh, studio going, man? Hey, I got that jacket. Uh, I forgot to mention in, I have this mod running, this DreamPunk 2.0 one, and it's supposed to give the game realistic lighting, and I have path tracing on and all that. So in areas inside buildings, it gets incredibly dark. There's no fix for it at the moment. Uh, so just just know that. Bam. Hey, check that out, man. I don't know if I need to be sneaky or you have some items here. I want them. Who are you, by the way? Receptionist, no affiliation, no criminal records. Roger. I'm just going to take that gun. You don't need that, right? Yeah, 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 you'll be fine. This is weird playing on this screen because I normally play on a huge TV on the wall and I sit back in my chair. Been busy with your regular job, maintaining green energy. Projects. Same as dad jobs, boss. Oh, I see. Oh, nice dude. Hey man, you're you're a busy dude, man. Find Booker Updike. But not before looting everything. Yeah, this is probably incredibly dark. I apologize if I can't do anything about it. Got a guest token? See if there's anything on the computer. Only a bit of paperwork away from getting a real estate license. Oh, nice. Sweet. So you both will. Nice. Hey, man, as long as you're happy and you're having fun doing what you're doing, bro. That's all that matters. We have a deal. 5% of yours. We'll bring the equipment tomorrow night. Don't forget to tell your cleaning staff to keep their mouth shut. We'll be here for a month or two because it's good to stay at anyone it's not good to stay at any one place for any too long or whatever kind of the same thing it said when we're done you renovate the room uh like we've never been before i'll even leave you a five star glowing review you don't obviously have to read any of this crap you could play the game pretty straightforward and just run around shoot stuff but if you like immersion and you like story and stuff like that if you play if you haven't played cyberpunk and you do play it dude read everything all the little data pads that you pick up, read everything, emails, read into files. They, I mean, they, they spent a zillion hours just adding and adding and adding to the story in this game in the world. It's crazy. Sometimes you wish you had a kid to share it with. Uh, yeah, yeah. The story, uh, the world that they've painted and created as Cyberpunk is, it's crazy. Um. This is my third playthrough, technically. I'm doing two play playthroughs at the same time on here in the Xbox. And in different ones, I found things 
that I haven't found in my first playthrough. I mean, it's just the more you look, the more there is. So we just got information about what room um, this guy Booker Updike is in. Looks like he's in room 203. Um, Realize that the dude dropping in is a budget motel and I've tried to keep my expectations of it in check. But what I found here lies below the low bar I have already set. Constant noise from the second floor keeps me up all night. Fumes in the hallway scratch my throat and burn my eyes. And junkies are loitering and parking yeah, around the parking lot from dawn till dusk. <clears throat> I've been patient. I've tried to be understanding. But it's got to the point where I must demand a refund. Reverse me in full. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> and while we're here, we're going to hack into this terminal and steal some creds. Because we need money. I need, um, let's go down this way. BD. 5-5. Five, five, hit another 5-5. Five, five. I could be able to get this last one. Oh, I might be able to get the first one, though. Yep. Bam. <clears throat> I don't need the money, but I like the money. There's another one right here. We'll go ahead and do it. <coughs> One C five five seven A. Shit, might be screwed this time. Yeah, I'll just take the first one. That's fine. All right, so let's find the elevator. Let's go upstairs. Again, it's gonna be really dark, and I apologize, but I can't do nothing about it. Yeah, my camera's not too big, right? I think it looks fine. Try not to block anything important. And actually, you can't see what it's telling me to do, but that's fine. Oh, wait. This guy over here watching a BD? Who are you? The Homa Oliha. This guy. <laughs> you don't even know I'm in the room. I'm gonna leave him to whatever the hell he's doing. What the fuck? Uh, looks like we're gonna have some. Wait, are they below me? Am I one floor higher than I need to be? I don't want to do this right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dude, how to... It wants me to go outside, but I didn't see a way to access the rooms. I'm supposed to go to room 203. That's 205. This is 203. Uh, I can't... Okay, so I can't force it open because I don't have enough strength. Um, okay, so that that's why we're trying to go out in the balcony. All right. Oh, looks like we need to find another way in. Maybe from the roof? Is there a way in from the roof? Doesn't look like it. What's this? No? Okay. Oh, wait, the shutters? Oh, there's a door down here. Okay, let's try that. Gotta run? Yeah, sounds good, man. Hey, thanks for stopping by, dude. Enjoy the rest of your day, bro. There we go. Now we're in. Alright, so we're room, in room two, two or three. This guy doesn't even see that I'm here. Uh, I would like to go... Hold on a second. Do I have... Yeah, I still have the data. So some sometimes some of these gigs and stuff you do for fixers, you can get extra money if you try to do them uh, undercover, like stealthy. 
Um, sometimes you don't. They usually tell you, though. Something slipped through somebody's fingers, and it's your job to get it back. Got this tomb, Doug. Uh, Denver Doug, a ripper. Recently did this patch job on a 6th Street dickhole, and when he took off, Denver noticed a gallon of beta acid gone missing. Don't know what the fuck he uses it for, but that uh, that sixer knows all kinds of shit could get cooked from it on the street. One to one equals a dealer clept it. Uh, the sixer means uh, they're a 6th Street gang. There's a bunch of gangs in Cyberpunk. Um, so Denver hired this guy, Booker Updike, to find the missing acid. And then poof, he's a ghost. Last scene at the dude drop in in Arroyo. Um, head over there, get your hands in that beta. And if you got a minute, find out what happened to this Booker guy. Okay, so... Doesn't look there's any any extra money that's going to come away if we try to keep quiet. So we're not going to. I'm going to hit him with a contagion. That's going to like basically poison him, and it should start uh, passing to other characters. While that's working, I'm just going to step out here. They'll eventually track my location, but it's going to take them a second. I got Johnny's gun too. Best game in the game as far as I'm concerned. I love this gun. Half of them are dead already. <laughs> Alright, they just got my location now. But there's not much of them left. Oh, we got an archive. To, um, ooh, there's a conversation between them. Got the sig from Jaws. Clipped, clipped the drum of beta acid. So he knew it, yeah. On his way now. Finally prepping for gear. How many doses does that get us? A couple hundred. Cream. By the way, get some new masks. Old ones are probably bust because I'm going to get dizzy. Or I'm getting dizzy. Trust me, we do not want to breathe in those streams. Yeah, so. Dude, uh, freaking Johnny's gun, bro. Johnny's gun is awesome. Uh, how do I view it? I thought you can, like, preview it. Well, whatever. When you do a melee hit, it uses up all the ammo in the current mag. Uh, well, it's technically a revolver, right? So whatever. It uses up all the ammo that you currently have loaded. And it just, like, does massive fire damage. <laughs> That's crazy. And it has an insane amount of power. Got a computer over here, too. Messages. The acid. Got the beta acid, but the ripper slapped the tail on us. Be there an hour, meet at the back entrance, and make sure the coast is clear. We have a deal. 5% is yours. We're bringing new equipment tomorrow. Don't forget to tell you. Clean. Oh, that's the same stuff. And then the conditions. Okay. Oh, is this a stolen beta acid? It is. Nice. All right, so we get the beta acid back. And we found 10000 bucks. Sweet. So we don't have to figure out where Booker Dyke... Booker Updike is. We can finish where we're at, but I'd like I like doing the optional stuff. Let's see if we can figure out where this guy is. Oh my god! <laughs> Shouldn't piss people off. Where would I can't see shit in here? It's so dark. There's one, there's two more dudes out there. So I wonder if they're. Oh, is that one of these guys? No, that's a, sorry. okay. Let's go outside real quick. Waiting for someone. Please just get out. Okay. You have a nice day, ma'am. Who are you? Not Booker Updike. Uh, we got trouble. Get. You just get out of here. Who are you? Not Booker Updike. How do I figure out where this guy is?
I mean, you don't have to figure it out, but I like to. I like doing the optional stuff. Is there something maybe on this computer I'm missing? I already got the beta acid out of there. I didn't see any bodies. Is this guy Booker Updike? That's watching the BD? No. He might be screwed. I don't know. Damn. Okay. Well, I tried. Whatever. All right. Deposit the beta acid in the drop point. Easy. The drop point is a little far. We'll take the car. Damn. I would have liked to find this dude Booker and figure out what the deal is, but It's all good. There's a million more side quests and gigs and cyber psycho sightings to deal with. Yeah, I'm hoping like maybe in the, the next cyberpunk game that comes out, I obviously don't know shit about it and what they're planning on doing. But it'd be sweet if there's more in the game that you could do other than just being a merc. Like, I think it'd be sweet if you had the option of like picking like what kind of profession you want to be. Like instead of being a merc, maybe you want to join Max Tac or something like that. Maybe you want, maybe you want to be a fixer. Maybe just be like a straight up cop and just go after mercs and cyber psychos doing shit in the streets. And uh, even if it's like just all end game stuff after you play the main story, you know. All right. So he's got to say, well, I have the beta acid. I still got no clue what happened with Booker. I know. I'm sorry, dude. I expected more from you, Pete. We're closing this one and filing it under me. Oh, he's not happy with my performance. Damn. I probably would have got more money, too, if I figure out what happened to the dude. All right, let's find another job in the area for El Capitan. Um, where is his location? Now, he's down here. I've only done one out of 11 gigs for him. Wow. Okay. There's another one right here. Thievery. I think we probably already started that one. Sabotage the target here. So there's a couple that with him that I started apparently. I never finished. So let's let's go here and complete this one. Agent Saboteur. Um once you get close to it, we should be able to get more info on it. Ah, good to go. Oh, snap, son. It does look so freaking good, dude. It looks so good. It's freaking Dream Punk mod for this game. The game looks amazing as is, like without any mods. If we're able to play it with um, like ray tracing maxed out and path tracing, uh, it looks fantastic as it is. But that Dream Punk 2.0 mod just takes it over the top. I just gotta get the lighting fix figured out. I oh I did try a mod one time to play Cyberpunk in VR and it worked really good actually. They did a fantastic job with it. Um but you gotta turn down like a lot. You gotta turn down a lot of the graphic settings to get it to um run decent. And then the problem I was having is that I'm so used to playing it like this just with a controller on PC that it was like it wasn't quite the same. Alright, let's see what he's got to say. What's up? Check it. There's a site on the net out to smear the mayor. Well, then hold. Well, oh, yeah, I get it. Because, you know, he's up for re election or whatever. One second. Sure, okay. politics, am I right? It's off. Mud slinging never stops. Not for a minute. Anyhow, my client wants that site sucked into the cold vacuum of cyberspace. Let's scan the brief if you need more info. Scan the brief if you need more info. All right. 
Bring down the propaganda machine, slandering Walton Jones. Oh, you know what? I just did this one on my Xbox with my other character. <laughs> um, politics. Only thing slimier than the thongs that licks. <laughs> Uh, at least corporals usually tell you to your face when they're going to screw you in the end. Fake smiles, impossible promises, shameless pandering. All foreplay till they fuck you in the ass and pay, if pay themselves with it. The eddies out of your wallet. <laughs> it's in their nature. Uh, and what's in ours? Blowing shit up. Just got a gig for you this time. Sixth Street got a stiffy for Jefferson Perales. So they have these servers pumping out anti-Holt propaganda. They see Perales becoming mayor as the like second coming of Abraham Lincoln or some shit here to unite the city with the NUSA naive gonks uh, my client wants a six streets propaganda machine gone simple we could do that we could do that yeah I literally just did this one man hey think your sister will give me another chance ask her yourself big fucking help you are <laughs> Got cameras. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that thing off. That's the thing too. Like, if you don't have a cyber deck installed and you can't hack anything, it's. A, I mean, I think it's almost impossible to uh, be able to run anything stealth. I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but it's hard as shit. Let's see if I can get some info on this computer before this guy sees me. Local network. Go. Let's go ahead and turn off all the cameras. Outage, low supporter, concerned citizen. This guy doesn't see me? Oh yeah, so when I was playing it on the Xbox, <clears throat> I was playing, um, I didn't have a cyber deck installed, I couldn't hack anything, and I had a Sandy installed. Uh, so I couldn't turn off the cameras. So I ended up fighting all these dudes, which we'll probably still fight them, but I'm, I'm really surprised he doesn't even know I'm here. I mean, I'm just, that's fine. I'm going to continue. Camera should all be off. Yes. Good. Some tier five components. I have a uh, a cloak I could activate as well if I need to. So we need to get, I believe, in that garage right there. I think the... The computer or whatever it is that's running is right there. If I hack any of these dudes, they're going to be able to trace me after a moment. Well, Chew, from the looks of your little butte, still got a lot of work to do. I mean, hell, your mom's in better shape than this. <laughs> Drive shaft's fucked, but the bearings will be new. Sandblasted. Still waiting on a new compressor. <laughs> She'll be ready to tear up the streets. Oh, I thought... I thought my stream was offline for a second. My screen over here had my starting screen. It said I was offline. This guy's going to see me. Hit and cloak. And he didn't see me. Awesome. It just wasn't updating. What the? We only have a couple seconds to the cloak cuts off. I hacked the turret, so now it's helping me out.
Whoa! What the fuck was that? Maybe I was moving too fast for the computer? Okay, I'll move slower, sorry. Let that turret do my work. I'll loot all these guys afterwards. <laughs> all right. Is this what I needed? No, just a bunch of components. Search for garage 66. Oh, is this not it? Is there a guy up top? There is. Hold on. Garage 66, huh? I'll take all that. I need to sit back from the screen a bit, dude. It's too close for me. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but whatever. <laughs> There's still one guy down there. Install mirror. Oh, we found the... This is the garage right here. Okay. Uh, we'll take those components. There's a computer. Install the malware. Shut down their propaganda system. I love this game, dude. We nail one asshole to the wall and another rises up in the polls. Politics is fucking usual. What's up, Johnny? Oh, sorry, Johnny, but I don't have time for your little anarchist revolution. Yeah? Well, it'd be easier than slicing heads off a fucking Hydra. One more reason this city could use another nuke. Damn, Johnny. Johnny don't give a fuck. Dude, hacking that turret was awesome. It took care of all these guys. I didn't have to do shit. What did that say? Oh, uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, y'all shouldn't stand next to those. Oof. That's rough. <clears throat> All right. I got to figure out what I need to install in order to use that, uh, the Skippy pistol. <laughs> Anytime, man. Crank the game up just a little bit more. All right. Um, because uh, I I haven't used any smart targeting weapons, and I think what I need to do is install a mod on my hands to allow smart targeting systems. I have a ballistics ballistic coprocessor. Um. Oh, that's what shows me the ricochet trajectory. Okay. I thought I had some, like, mod installed. <laughs> I thought I had some mod installed that was showing this weird lines coming off the gun that shows where the trajectory is going to be for the ricochets. Um, Like a game mod. I didn't realize that was an in-game mod I had. Okay. There's a lot to this game, man. Uh, and then I have this one. Reloading an empty weapon costs the next shot to release an electro shot that deals up to 200 electrical damage. So this one, I'm pretty sure I could probably get rid of uh, and get a smart targeting system installed. So I'm pretty sure that's what I need. Okay, so I, there's only one. I mean, I don't know to the extent like how different uh, mods and stuff you can get from different Ripper docks are. I try to go to... Um, Bix all the time anytime I do need to go to a Ripper dock. So we're going to go here. Go see Victor Vector. And see if we can get a smart targeting system thing installed. Because I've never really tried that. There's a bunch of like uh, skill points you could put in stuff to like level that shit up so it like pretty much will lock on almost instantly. 
to critical points and stuff, but I never tried any of that. Let's drive first person view, bro. I wonder how. <laughs> this is very limiting. No, never mind. <laughs> In VR, I bet that's badass, though. What the hell did I hit? Those small little railings about flip my car. This? Why is this even here? Oh, is this supposed to be a... Uh Oh, is this the original checkpoint in the beginning of the game where they lock you into, uh, they lock you downtown in Haywood? It is. Okay. <laughs> I miss Jackie, man. <laughs> you know what would be sweet for the next Cyberpunk is uh, a prequel to 2077. That'd be pretty sweet. Wish it didn't stutter as much as it did. I don't know why it does that, but. Yeah, big time. It's doing it more so now that I'm streaming the game, so. Uh, I think we need to go down here. It's like when you go into different areas and it starts loading those zones in. Almost there. I don't like uh, fast traveling in this game either. The city is too damn beautiful and looks too freaking awesome to be fast traveling all over the damn place. Plus, I'm used to it. Before I figured out what the big problem was with my computer being like overclocked. Um, somebody's calling me. Hold on. Gary. Uh, Johnny. V this time. Disappointed. Get how that show of yours works. Simple. Imagine that Johnny's along for the ride. Mm -hmm. Not him. We don't got no ticket either. Whatever. In any case, I'm at the wheel. And rather keep it that way. I got it. You'll work too. Right? Cool. Something particular up, Carrie? A job. Of a kind that seems ideal for you. A job, huh? Corner of Gray and Malagra. Early morning. We'll talk. Cool. Huh. So this guy carries an old band member of Samurai. They play with Johnny. Just did a show with him. I got everybody together to do... Um, it's in a storyline for an entire... A side quest thing, not a, not even a side, like a main story quest, basically. But um, got together to do one more show, and uh, now there's more. There's more going on with them. And I tell you, no! Interesting. The no ordinary clan. They're not even human. Relax, bro. What's up? She's busy. All right, let's go see Victor Vector. I love this game, dude. What's up, bro? Um, implants. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. Bro, this guy's got my same name. That's awesome. I forgot about I forgot about this behavioral imprint uh, faceplate. You get this eventually after doing a whole bunch of shit in Dogtown. But basically, you can reprogram your face to look like something else temporarily. So if Max Tack is after you, if anybody's after you, you, as long as you have it slotted, press a button, reprograms your face for a minute, go back to normal after a while. It's pretty sweet. But I don't have it slotted right now. You have to... You can't have everything slotted at the same time. Okay, so I think we can probably get rid of this 
Reloading an empty weapon causes the next shot to release electric shot. Yeah, I don't mind if we don't have that. We need to be able to use a smart weapon. Smart link. That sounds perfect. Enables the use of smart targeting and smart weapons. 50% target lock duration. 7 plus critical damage for smart weapons. Directly links the user's optical implants to the weapons system, offering real-time weapon info. 2 plus to max RAM. Nice. Is that the only one, or that's a tier four? That's just a tattoo. That's what I have installed now. Oh wait, is there a legendary version? There is. Sparkling tier five. Oh okay. What's the difference? Fifteen target lock, seven crit damage. Twenty target lock, ten crit damage. Nice. Um, uh, that's what I have. That's a shock absorber. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do this. 16,000. Easy. Confirm. We could probably upgrade a lot of the, um, the cyberware we have. I've tried to upgrade most of it to basically legendary, I think. This can still be upgraded to tier 5 plus. Plus, plus, excuse me. Oh, wait, that's the behavioral implant. That's the face implant. No, I don't, I don't care about that. My ballistic co-processor can be upgraded. You need these legendary parts, which I have been... I probably have a lot of legendaries I need to uh, disassemble to get. What do you get for this? Increased ricochet? Ricochet damage? Sh sure. This one will do as well. I have 329 of these parts, so we could do a couple of these. Uh, my legs, fortified ankles. These are body attuned. Reflexes attuned. I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, there's probably not going to be anything that's technical attuned. That's fine. We'll upgrade my legs. Increases my damage, or excuse me, my defense. Nice, I'll take it. Um, let's see. What else? What do I have? I have a projectile launch system installed on my arms, but I don't use it. Um, as a net runner, I really should be running a mono wire, but I don't actively use it so i'm not gonna bother with that my mechatronic core 35 percent damage against drones robots we'll upgrade that there's one more upgrade available we'll do that or am i am i overclocking much only by uh only by a little bit Shit. Okay, so this edge running thing, like this is your cyberware capacity, if you don't know, right? Um, as you upgrade certain things in your skill tree, uh, your capacity, your ability to have cyberware installed increases. And usually, however high this is, different things will use certain amounts of cyberware slots. Like this universal booster, for instance, uses 20. So of all the things you have added, you can only use so much. Uh, and the skill tree, if you end up, uh, oh, it's under technical ability. If you level up your skill tree to the point where you unlock edge runner, right? There's these stats that come into place. It basically allows you to overload your cyberware capacity by up to 50 points. And the more you overload it for like every point that you do, there's a 0.1% chance that you'll break into a fury state and get extra critical damage, uh, critical chance and damage and things like that. And the more you upgrade it, the longer it lasts. So what you have to do in here is try to overload this edge. You want to run this edge as much as you can so that you get increased benefits of a higher chance of max fury. Uh, it does reduce your max health, but at this point, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you just make sure you install enough shit to upgrade your defense on this side. And you should be good. But I'm only running like five points over. I need to... Uh, 
I need to install some new shit <laughs> that ain't, that uses more. I this used to be way more. I must have upgraded something at some point that increased my max capacity. Um, and none of these things, as far as I see, when you upgrade them, do they increase the amount of the amount that they take? X disk. Max RAM, 10% upload speed for quick hacks. I suppose I could look to see what else. I've had a lot of these, a lot of the cyberware installed for a while. I've just been upgrading it, so. Um, let's see. This is the X disc. There's this one called the Axolotl, but it requires you to have a level 48 body. Negative 5% 5 cooldown instantly for all cyberware after neutralizing an enemy. How is that? Um. Oh, it requires 40. I only have 38 available. It needs 40, 48. What does this do? Is that all it does? That doesn't even sound like it'd be anything. I'm going to turn my fan up, dude. It's getting hot in here. I have all my screens running. have all my screens running and I'm sure the AC got cranked up. So, ugh. Memory boost. 1.25 RAM when you neutralize an enemy. Allows quick hacks to deal critical damage. Interesting. What is this one right now again? 6 plus max RAM and 35% upload speed for quick hacks. I like that though. Uh, this one does extra damage against drones or robots. That I want. Self ice. I can't get rid of self ice. Mm hmm. Maybe the frontal cortex isn't the option. I don't know if there is any better uh, cyber deck than this one I'm running now. Looks like I can upgrade it though. Uh, they just upgrade some of the uh, the percentages barely. I think. The effect duration for combat quick hacks get a 50% effect duration for 200 of those parts. Oy. How many do I have left? I have 234. I mean, that'd be nice, but fuck, dude, that's crazy. That's a lot. The Falcon saying, uh, Sandy, yeah, okay. Man, I don't know. I don't think there's another way, as far as I know, there. I can't think of a way we can overload our system any more than we already are. <laughs> optical camo, I got to keep that. That's how I get my optical camo, obviously. Cellular adapter. This gives me 154 defense. There might be something better. Technical attunement, you get... Small percentage increases for a couple things, but nothing major. What else do I have? Pain inducer. This is body attuned. That's the optical cam I already have. I already have a proxy shield. Wait, no. This is a different one. Titan. Counter shell. Reflexes attuned. Reflexes attuned. Technical ability attuned. Shock and awe. Whenever you take damage, you have a 10% chance to release a large electroshock that deals 500 damage to nearby enemies. Actually, you know what? That might not be bad because this is going to require more cyber deck capacity, which is what I wanted. I will lose a little bit of defense, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, but we also we had an, electro, an electroshock ability that had a chance to activate when we reloaded an empty mag. We just got rid of that so we can install a smart targeting system. So this would be a good good one to put in. Plus it's technical attuned and I'm maxed out in technical ability. So we'll do that. 84,000 bucks. Sure. All right. So now we're maxing this out a little bit. 2.5% chance for a fury. So we need we need a little more. A little more. Um, I've never seen somebody max this out. Like way out here. Skeleton. 
bionic joints. We get 130. We get a lot of defense from a lot of these things. Skeleton system. Karistikov. This slows down time. Um, by 60 seconds for three and a half seconds. Oh, slows down time by 60% for three and a half seconds when you aim a ranged attack during a slide, dodge, or dash. That's a lot of words. Virtual Cortex support. Crit chance increases the farther you are from an enemy. This is cool attuned. Is there something more attuned for technical or intelligence, perhaps? Neofiber. Atomic sensors. A stabber. Adrenaline converter. Cool attuned. Cool attuned. No, not really. Okay. Um, I think we already looked at inter augmentary systems, right? Because we just switched and got the shock and awe. Circulatory system? A second heart? I... The moment I, get, I can get a second heart in the game, I do. When you die, basically, it gives you 100% health again. At the 2 minute 20 second cooldown. It's a second heart. <laughs> Clutch padding. Negative 18% stamina cost for shooting. Body attuned. There's got to be something better. Threat evac. Intelligence attuned. It only takes five cyber deck. 25% uh, movement speed when your health drops below 25%. The more your health drops, the more your movement speed increases. Maximum of 35%. Interesting. Heal on kill. Which one were we looking at? Oh, I already have a heal on kill installed. Shit. Not the second heart. The clutch padding. I like to replace that one with something. The black mamba. Reflexes attuned. Body attuned. Feedback circuits. This one's technical attuned. 3% health when you hit an enemy with a fully charged tech weapon shot. I have a tech weapon a shotgun i don't use it though i think i just found it too yeah a blood pump functions as a powerful health item instantly restores 85 health then regenerates 17 health per second for six seconds what <laughs> functions as a health item I don't know, man. I can do uh, this feedback circuit, I guess. I don't know about this one. I'm fine with my health uh, restoring capabilities. I guess I could do this. That's $50,000 just for extra two. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be pretty difficult to um, to max out any more than we are right now. The projectile launch system only takes eight. Could install a mono wire system. That still takes the same amount. Yeah, I think that's it for now. That's that's as much as I can squeeze out of it for the time being. Um, I think there's probably a couple thing a couple things I could put points into that'll might be able to give me a uh, ability for extra slots, I think. I know there's this one here. When upgrading cyberware, you can choose from two stat modifier options. A third option is available at tier three and higher. Okay, yeah, I think that's fine. I can use my smart pistol. That's what matters. Sweet. What time is it? 9.40? I've been streaming for an hour? Okay. I wanted to stream for at least two hours. Misty still looking at this. So we gotta go to the meeting spot between 12.30 and 3.30 a.m. That's a while from now. All right, um, this isn't a good area to They're test out, to test out my smart pistol. Old Sir Skippy. All right, let's find another location. Hey, I'm gonna turn my fan up real quick. It's hot. My ceiling fan, that is. Beer Back 
Um, I actually need to go. I need to disassemble some items I have because uh, our weight capacity is about maxed out. Also, if uh, I don't know if anybody has a Go XLR, the old school. I call it old school. It's not that old. Um, I am looking for a wireless headset that is Go XLR compatible. Uh, I have wireless headsets, but none of them work with a Go XLR. You know what I mean? Like I can get it to work, but I can't hear myself in the headset. It's not quite the same. I can't use the levers to adjust the, the volume. Uh, I'm looking for one that has full capacity, like full capabilities with the GoXLR, but is wireless. Because there's sometimes I want to stream or record something on my on my consoles. I have a bunch of consoles over here to my right. And I don't like moving this entire microphone setup. And they're rearranging my half of my damn room. I just want to be able to put my headset on, plug it in, and kind of go. And at the moment, I can't quite do that. All right, so we need to go way down there at later on today. Um, let's do a job in the city. How about that? We are in Watson right now, and there's probably several jobs. We haven't really done much. Collect my reward. I have a reward waiting on me. Gas, gas, gas. What is this for? Dino may be a poser, but we feel could still become friends. He's a sex, drugs, and rock and roll kind of guy. Preem chew material. Anyway, you managed to complete all his assignments, so he wants to repay you in kind. Bastard simply impossible to dislike. Oh, I did all his jobs already. I didn't know that. Alright, well, let's go get it. Well, who are... Who are these jobs for in this area, then? That's for him. Someone else is running these jobs. I don't know who these are for yet. Who's the other fixer in this area? There's Wakako over here, but she runs Japantown. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Let's let's go get our uh, let's go get our gift for being badass. Whoa. This car's got too much power, bro. Too much power. Whoa. Is that supposed to go in there? Oh, he wants me to go in the parking garage. Is this a car? Bro, there's a... F Get out of the way, dude. Is he giving me a car? Am I gonna add another car to my garage? Aesop, what's up, dude? Three years, dude. That wasn't that loud. Well, it wasn't that that loud. That's a long AT time, bro. Twenty-five rage three Y E A R R R R S S S S S S S eight B twenty-five L O L O L eight B twenty-five L O L O L eight B two five L O L O L. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Hey, sup? Thanks for subbing for three years, bro. With my inconsistent streaming ass. How you doing, man? <laughs> Good morning. 8B25, LOLOL, 8B25, LOLOL, 8B25. It is a car. This is like the car I'm driving now, but a different color. Dude, three years is a long time, man. You doing all right? How have I been? I've been okay. You know, just stressing myself out with computer issues. But other than that, it's all good, man. How about you, dude? Yeah, dude, this is my exact same car. It's just a different color. <laughs> I like it. So basically what this tells me is I didn't have to spend $50,000 on this car. That's what they're saying. I could have just collected this one that had been sitting here for forever. Looks good. Bods of path tracing and working wonders. They are, dude. The game looks freaking fantastic. I mean, it looks good before without it, but with it, holy moly. Oh, I have the hood scoop, though. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same car. Not really, now that I put them side by side. This one's a Quadra. Nah, it's not the same car. Let's check underneath the hood. 
to got. Uh, kind of the same motor, kind of, you know, not bad though, you know. A Type 66. This one's a Type 66. Close the hood. I think I could scan the cars though. This is a 25 to 20, 20, 2077 model. Type 66 Gen Roly with 616 horses, curb weight of 3816. Considered by viewers to be the sexiest looking car in the show. Guns and horses. It is a sexy looking car. I'll give it that. Uh, this is just the standard Type 66. 555 horses. Ah, so mine's got a little bit more horsage. Not bad, not bad. I like how there's different models. Wow, well, let's take the new one for a ride. Self-destruct only costs six RAM. Yeah, <laughs> I use it quite often, especially if I'm being chased. Nah, not in my own car, bro. <laughs> This one sounds different too, though, I think. I kind of like the sound on this one, dude. This one sounds good. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. This one's a little bit easier to drive. It's not as powerful. I like it. <laughs> Might be able to get myself in less trouble. I really wish like street racing was a thing in this game too. There is kind of a storyline where you do some street races, but like just like straight up street racing in this game would be awesome, dude. The cars of the future have more personality than what they do now? Yeah, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Like this? Dude. Stop right here for a second. Yeah, like this is sweet. Hey, I like that green though, actually. <laughs> Realizing just how much I like this, this car. I like the profile of this car and the color. I love a good dark, like, earth green like that. That looks freaking awesome, dude. Dude, I only make cars like this in real life. This is sweet. Screenshots. Yeah, it's like a brand new classic car, right? Dude, this thing looks sweet. She's, what is she looking at? She's over here. Looking at the rearview mirror or something. Bro, even the, oh, I never realized. Look at the mirrors. They're cameras. Can I read what's on there? Oh, you can, kind of. Do not use magazine with non-EMC firearm. May cause lethal electric discharge. Electromagnetic capacitor. Militech. Does this car have guns on it? No, that's my gun. Cycle through weapons, cycle through weapons. Huh. We're just driving. I don't know where I'm going at the moment. Me, uh... I like this car. Uh, we'll, we'll run this one for a while. My my garage is beginning to become pretty, pretty full. I don't think there's a maximum amount of cars you can have in this game. Because uh, I don't think there's even a way to get rid of them. Um, okay. Agent Saboteur. Sabotage the target here. Let's do... This. Search and recover. Client wants you to find something here. 
Sure. But yeah, man, we're just, uh, took me forever to get the stream set up. We're just playing some chill ass cyberpunk. I was going to try to play, um, Beyond Shadowgate, the new game. And, uh, I couldn't get, to, I can't get the game to run. I need to try it on my streaming computer. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Dude, I'm driving against traffic. Why is there a double yellow line then? Hold on a second. We need to go this way. Yeah, I couldn't get the game there. It kept crashing. I don't know why. I have computer issues all the time, dude. Yeah, the double line's a lie. Why is that there? I still got to play a hollow body at some point, too. This is the side of the road I needed to go on. There we go. The lighting on this mod gets kind of crazy when it starts to rain. I also took a wrong turn because I don't know how to use GPS. Confused post game devs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the global lighting starts to get a little bit too bright when it rains. So we'll have to deal with that. But it's all good. Rage of Green Yoshi. Got malware bites. Malware bites? Is that a snack? Or, uh. <laughs> Sounds like a snack. Like juicy fruit. Wait, no, that's gum, isn't it? I don't know snacks anymore. They like gushers. Mods, the mods I have in this game. Um, I have three mods installed. One of them's called Dream Punk 2.0. Uh, it's basically a reshader, reshader of lighting and textures. Um, so everything is like just a lot better, a lot sharper. Um, lighting is completely redone. You have to have path tracing on to do it too, so it requires a lot. And then I have a mod for um. What do you call it? Uh, to be able to turn off the HUD with a button. Because without it, you have to... You have to turn each like individual item off. So I have a mod for that. And then I have a fly around mod where you could just fly around the world and look around and stuff. Are you having computer issues? Oh, you meant my actual computer. Yeah, I might need to do that. I don't know. I get random little things. Like, for instance, like this game's running fine, but I can't run beyond Shadowgate. It crashes instantly. Makes no sense. Yeah, might not be a might be a good idea to do some maintenance on the computer. Don't hit, don't hit the wall. Ah, scratch my baby up. Okay, we're going to park over here since they uh, seem to be a bit busy. Ah, uh, Regina, okay. V, I trace some cleft meds. Someone's stashing them in a Kabuki apartment. Unfortunately, no idea what's waiting for you there, so be careful. Anyway, you bring them back, some rippers will thank you. Profusely. More dates in the attachment. Tracking some clept meds. Am I... To me, it looks like I'm way louder than the game. Is that the case? Is the game not loud enough? It looks like to me, according to these levels I'm looking at, I look substantially louder than the game is. I'm good? Okay. Maybe it's just me. Um, Let's look at the... Sorry, where's, um, there it is. Okay. Search and recover stolen medicine. A few years back, I scrolled a little feature called how affordable is health? Turns out not very. My numbers showed only 3% of night citizens could afford healthcare. <clears throat> Sounds like today, actually. Not much has changed in 50 years. Uh, a lot has changed since. For the worse, some people are declaring open war on rippers, breaking into clinics, clepping meds and chems. No surprise there. 
And no surprise, these rippers want to protect what's theirs. They want you to recover a pack of stolen meds thanks to the GPS tracker uh, tracer hidden inside. We know exactly where to look. All right. Involves this guy, Corporal Hare. Is this the guy that stole it? All right. I could do that. <clears throat> Dude, the, the rain adds just like crazy ambiance to it, too. Look at this. Oh, hold on. Let's do this real quick. This is my fly around mod. What are y'all shooting at? If you're not with us, you're dead! Dead! That's cool. It's really bright. But for like some, uh... Cinema, cinematography shots and stuff. This looks sweet. Yeah, that's pretty much why I got this mod. I want to be able to take like some just like slow ambient footage, just like going around Night City. And the mod gives you the option to have everything stop or let the world continue playing. So like cars will continue driving by. Just an average sign of Chicago. Of course, everything's off now. The guys that were just here just disappeared, so. Maybe there's some shit needs to be adjusted. I don't know. But, yeah. Oh, now they're back. Maybe I went too far. Okay. Whatever. I'll figure it out at some point. Alright, let's go inside. Turn off the music. This guy looks like he's playing his, uh, his Samsung Gear VR. <laughs> you hear that howling at night? Like a dying animal. Quiet. Looks like we're going up to the top floor. Chris David, don't move when you find him. <clears throat> this guy I'm about to go into right now you're talking about. Man, it's super dark in here. I remember doing this one, but this was forever ago. Greetings from Poland. Hey. Huh? Poland in the house. What's up? You did this contract last night in your stream? Nice. Oh, shit. I forgot to... Uh, my bags are starting to get really full. I need to disassemble some stuff. Nice. Are you Are you doing your first playthrough? Um, or have you played it before? First time? Nice. How are you liking it so far? I love this game, man. Let me disassemble a couple weapons real quick because my bags are getting really full. I need to disassemble some of these old legendaries. I just, I just have shit sitting in here. <clears throat> I am how should I say I'm in the middle of my second and third playthrough at the same time technically I'm playing it on PC this is my second playthrough on PC this time I'm playing uh, it's a female V as a street kid and I'm also simultaneously playing it on my Series X Xbox in the living room uh, as a male V as a corpo um I really like this game. 
Yeah, some of these I'm just gonna... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I need all these parts. There's a, there's a cyber deck upgrade I want to get that's gonna cost me 200 points. Or 200 of these, uh... What are these? Legendary? Tier 5 components? <clears throat> Excuse me. I would normally just sell these for money, but I don't really need the money at the moment. I really do need the parts. So, okay, that's good enough. That gives us about 130, 40. Fine today. Fiance got you out of nowhere. Wolverine fingers for controller. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. 400 bucks. I'll take it. So you said don't move when we find him, huh? Oop. How to build a bomb in your kitchen. Okay. I'm just going through stealing money and shit. <laughs> New pants? this playthrough I'm pretty much towards the end of the game I just want to do all the side quests and gigs and cyber psychos and everything I could possibly do before I actually complete the game you know CD Projekt Red yeah yeah yep well this game yeah me too dude I absolutely Stop. love it sure sure and you be careful with that trigger how did you find me oh this is Corporal here okay Let's just fight. <laughs> GPS transmitter. The one you forgot to disable on the stolen meds. Just hand them over, and I'm gone. Stolen? <laughs> the Pale of Paradol doesn't work. So, so, so who's stealing from who? Who? Ripper docs. They're the real criminals. Pale of Paradol? For cyberpsychosis? Uh! I'm not fucking crazy. Oh, is he going cyber psycho? Shut up. Go away. Give it or I call Max Tack. If it doesn't work, give it to me. I don't know if it's been a big bug in trash when it came Master, out. Come on. But it's really good. Yeah, it did have some bugs when it first came out, but it they've absolutely done like an amazing job with it. If they're of no use to you, they don't work. Just hand them over. You're the same as them. Rippers, politicians, the same as that fucking halt. I could think of a few differences. Shut up! That bastard he stole from, from research. He doesn't care about the sick. But, but soon, I'll find him. End him. Uh, I don't have, okay, hold on. His death won't change anything. The death of one politician won't change anything. It will! These... these silver-tongued devils won't dare turn on their people ever again! A line. I'm drawing a line. They can't treat us this way anymore! They... they, they can't <coughs> use us anymore! You live in the U.S.? Yeah. Yeah, I live in Florida. Is it a big game there, or is just no one playing it? I think it's a pretty big game here. I know a lot of people that absolutely love this game. I think the uh, the the Edge Runners anime on uh, Netflix brought a lot of attention to it too that people probably didn't know. Yeah, and when it, I mean when it first came out, there were a lot of massive streamers and YouTubers doing videos, and of course the game had a bunch of bugs. But I think it's pretty commonly known that Cyber uh, Cyberpunk is a a pretty big kick ass game. <laughs> Other politicians will make use of his death. They say you're a psycho. Uh, I'm trying to take the uh, the non-combat path with them because I'm pretty sure the first time I played through, I just ended up fighting him and killing him. 
Um, uh, let's do this. Yeah. Florida. GTA 6 would be in Florida. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> is it? A I haven't seen the trailer. I saw like little clips and stuff. I will say Florida is crazy. So it probably is. I mean, maybe not to the extent that they're portraying it in the game. But yeah, Florida's nuts, dude. <laughs> it's campaign season. First ribbon cutter to push an anti-psycho policy after Holt's death is winning that election. No, no, that's not true. The people will understand. The system will start to fall. Everyone like you, they'll hunt you all down. Cyber psycho terrorist on one side, media backed politicians on the other. Now who's the crowd favorite? Leave. Go, please. No, I can't without those meds. Over there. I want to be alone. Ooh. I was able to talk him down without fighting oh, him. Son of a bitch. He's not alone. We can't help him. Ah, shit. Not the only one in NC with problems. Dude's got his back pinned against the wall. Alone. What do you want me to do? Head to the lab, invent a cure? Maybe this murder Holt idea is not so bad. At least it'd piss a few people off. Sure, I guess, but what's the point? Better than burying your head in the sand. Johnny wants me to kill him? Are you guys just safe there? Oh, good. Can you talk to him anymore or no? Alright, I'm just gonna go. But what did the job say? The job said just to recover the stolen meds. It didn't say to kill Corporal Hare. All right, we're going to leave it at that. Well, there it is. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. Uh. All right, well, that sucks. I thought I was giving him another chance. That sucks. Big promise people lost houses and cars and stuff. Ah, oh, that sucks. I didn't even know about that there was floods out there, man. That sucks. Damn, I thought I was saving the dude. Welcome. Hey, welcome. Hey, thank you for the follow. Alright, I gotta deposit the meds. They want me to deposit them back here. So I gotta go through these guys' territory. Who are these? Just street thugs? Okay. <clears throat> um That Resident Evil 4 merchant welcome noise. I put that on my stream forever ago and I don't even know where it comes from anymore. I don't know how to turn it off. It's just there now. And sometimes <laughs> sometimes if somebody follows it plays, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> My, my whole stream thing is just a massive patched up botched mess. Alright. Deposit job at him. There we go. Alright. Probably gonna get a call from them here in a second. Or no. <clears throat> Thanks, V. Couldn't have been easy, but you handled it like a pro. Job done, contract closed. Hmm. I wonder if, um, I don't remember exactly. I wonder if most of the jobs for Regina Jones have to do with cyber psychos. Where is she at? There's Dino. Uh, that's what Kakao. Regina. There's 23 gigs for her and I've only done nine. 
Boy, I wonder if that includes the cyber psychos, though. I think that's something different. Dude, let's start doing some jobs for her. The first time I did, the first time I played through the game, I didn't do all the gigs and side quests and stuff like that. I did, I did a lot, but not all of them. Dude, hell yeah. Gun for hire. Let's do that one. The phone just went off. Sorry. One second. All right. Get in our new G ride. <clears throat> the Wither. Oh, The Witcher. Yeah, The Witcher games are huge in the U.S. Yeah, even before the show, The Witcher games were massive. I don't really know anybody that doesn't like The Witcher games. <clears throat> I've only played Witcher 3 and I never beat it, but yeah, those games are huge too. Yeah. What the? Oh. I'm not involved. I'm leaving. <clears throat> How many bits are we out here? Oh, in Cyberpunk, do you were running like fifty-two thousand bits approximately? You did beat it, yeah. Witcher Three, I the problem I had was that was a game that uh, I can't walk away from. It's like Zelda Breath of the Wild. If I walk away for like a week and I go back to the game, I don't know where I left off, what I was doing. So I have, I did that so many times, I ended up never being able to finish it because I had no idea what the hell I was. I couldn't remember. <laughs> Excuse me. Not looking for trouble, okay? Nice city. Yeah, this city's ridiculous. <laughs> Are they gonna remake the first one? I didn't know that. That'd be a good time to play the first one. I never played it. I think I actually have. Let me check my map. I think I have an item I'm supposed to pick up over here somewhere. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking about something else. That's pretty cool. Regina so, Jones. Looks like we found the last honest cop in this city. Her name's Anna Hamill, and whatever she's investigating, it's made her a lot of enemies. She'd do best to cut it out if you catch my drift. Okay, look, I know how it sounds, but somebody would have taken this gig anyway, right? I don't know. Maybe there's an angle you can play here. Either way, info's attached. All right, put the gun away. The first Witcher is a thing of his time. So fans took Witcher 3 engine and created extra missions from Witcher 1. Oh, uh, yeah. Is, is the first Witcher, like... As big and as complicated as a game as Witcher 3. Not in a bad way, but I mean, is it as is there like as much going on? They did officially confirm they're going to remake it. Nice. Because Witcher 3, is, I play a lot of different games at the same time on different stuff. And the problem I had with Witcher 3 specifically was, I like I mentioned, I really needed to just sit down and play that game on its own and nothing else. You know, and just go back and back to back to it until I beat it. And uh I couldn't do that. The first Witcher's rough to play? Oh. Uh, well maybe that remake will <clears throat> will help it out a bit. Alright. Anna Hamill is a blue blooded cop through and through. The kind you'd expect to see in some NCPD promo. Beautiful, smart, honest to fault. In other words, a really bad fit for Night City. Her NCPD colleagues are another story. They all have back problems from sitting on fat wallets. Ah. The current case Emil's working has them all breaking out in hives. She's digging into the smuggling rocket, uh, rackets and kabuki market, which, if she makes any real headway, means bad biz for her cop's buddy's finances. They want someone from outside the precinct to nip this thing in the bud. Normally, that's where I'd leave it, but 
I want to add one more thing. I kind of feel bad for the girl. Rather she not flatline if you can avoid it. Convince her to step to skip town or drop the case and make a career change at least. Ah. Okay. And we're going to take that route. I'm going to try to not kill her and convince her to stop. <laughs> I love these gigs, man. You get these jobs and stuff to do and you drive there. Am I streaming from a kitchen? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I have a beer fridge, but it's empty. I need to go get some beer today. Can't help you out there, buddy. Sorry, Nacho. <laughs> You've not played the first night, but you heard it's troublesome. Oh, uh, yeah. When did it come out? That Witcher 1. I, I wasn't... When Witcher 1 and 2 came out, I wasn't into those games. Um, I don't even remember when they came out. All right. <clears throat> Ask around the market about her. Oh, oh, let's do that. Hell yeah. Kabuki dirty nomad. Damn. Come on, I don't need this. Just uh, uh, toss in an anti whiff tablet for the smell. 15% off, or I will not buy. <laughs> she calls you a dirty call nomad. Thieves. <laughs> Fine. Fine. You got the deal. These shrimp fresh? These shrimp fresh. They just arrived, straight from the best aqua farm in Night City. Aqua farm? Okay. Where do you think? From Pacifica? That trash from the sea no good. Make you sick. <laughs> Ever seen this woman? I sell food and and I just want to keep selling food. That is all I will say. Alright, my bad. Oh, there is a mod I want to install. Um, I haven't yet, obviously. That lets you uh, eat food and drink beer at bars. And, like, well, eat food at food vendors and drink beer at bars. Like, it opens a lot more of them up. So, like, a lot of times you could just go to them and talk and look at their menu and buy something and that's it. But it lets you sit down and actually eat the food. Sounds pretty cool. Know this woman? 30-something, slightly shorter than yourself. Heard she comes around here a lot. This is Kabuki. We get a lot of people. And smart asses? A lot of them, too. Damn. Yeah, smart asses, too. Smart asses who could recognize a cop's face? So, how about it? You know her? I might. Depends on how much you'll be spending on your uh, groceries today. Oh, I can take a street kid option here. Telling me you're harboring a badge while operating at a tiger claw town. I wouldn't. I swear. Oh, I believe you. <laughs> know what they do to liars? <clears throat> Slice their digits off clean. Man, what Sometimes the? Sometimes they go even further than that. All right, all right, I get it. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Girls are renting out a room in this here motel, right over there. Huh. Appreciate it, bro. Hey, break a hundred for me? What am I? A bank? I love these markets, man. They added so much life to these places. That's so cool. Alright, anyways. All right, so she's upstairs, huh? You said to take... Oh, okay. My bad. I got to pay 151 bucks to enter? Damn, bro. We're delighted to welcome you as our newest guest. Your room number is 203. We wish you a pleasant stay. Can you just rent motel rooms in this game? I didn't think you could do that. 203. Wait, isn't... Didn't he say this was her room? Yeah, she's another room. Yeah, I, 
I totally just rented a room. Can I sleep here? No. Mac and cheeses. Yeah, 100% just rented a room. Nice. Hey, look at this streaming setup, bro. Look at the bars on the window, bro. <laughs> okay. So she's in a room upstairs. I already forgot what room he said that she was in. But fortunately, I have a little marker on my screen, so... <laughs> Normally, this door would be unlocked, but... Stop! Not one more fucking step! Who put out the hit? Give me a name! Damn, woman. Anna, drop this investigation. It's in your best interest. That a threat? I'd remind you, you're the one in the fucking crosshairs. Hey, easy. I just want to help. Help? Phonic implant must be fried. I think you men intimidate. Just to end your investigation. Really pissed off the wrong people. Which people? Tell me what fucking people! Your buddies at the NCPD set you up. Fucking. I fucking knew it. Robert Kowalski and Bill Adams. Yo. <clears throat> Motherfuckers. Damn. Let it go. It's not worth it. Yeah. Know what? I'm not letting scumbags get me killed. Fuck them. Fuck this job. Fuck this city. <laughs> Time Splitters 2 sold more than Concord. Ooh. Huh? So, Anna, what's next for you? What? Can I walk now? All of a sudden? The hell do you care? I dropped the case like you wanted. You can fuck off, Merc. Damn, I didn't kill you. You should be nice. Got nothing to say to you, Chum. All right, well, technically we did good, so I'm getting the hell out of here. I'll even close the door. Hey, good job. Future Perfect also sold more. I still, uh, I have almost all of the PS, all, I was going to say almost all of the PS's, almost all of the PlayStations. I still haven't seen a single game for PlayStation 5 that even slightly convinces me to just buy the PS5 just for that game. You know what I mean? Like Astrobot, I think, is the new one that everybody's like really up about. That one looks cool. Uh, I'm not going to buy a PS5 just for that. But like when the PS4 came out, it was Until Dawn. Coffee bought onto a uh, PS4 just so we could play Until Dawn. I have a PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2. I have a PlayStation 1 Mini. My P a PS1 broke forever ago. I need to get a new one eventually. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen anything for a PS5 that like makes me want to buy one. V of the silver tongue, eh? Glad you know. Contract close. Very nice. Astrobot is a fun franchise, but not exactly moving consoles. Yeah. Yeah, like it looks like a fun game. Definitely. Um, but I'm not going to drop five, six hundred bucks. Definitely not the PS5 Pro. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah. Yep. There's a lot of things I don't understand about. Oh, we just leveled up too. Nice. There's a lot of things about how they do business I don't understand. Bloodborne is obvious. That's like at the top of the list, but <clears throat> just like me, like I like Nintendo, right? I still play my Nintendo Switch. Um, I'm looking forward to the next one, and they haven't even announced what it is. But they're just they're just out of touch, I guess. Somebody on Twitter had called it, uh, they had posted a link to a video they did discussing the whole, like, PS5 Pro situation, and they called it something, uh, 
crap. What was it? Like, oh, I forgot what the word they used was. I never heard of the word before, but I was like, they, they absolutely nailed it. Like, that's exactly what it is. It's basically just people like, yeah, fans of PlayStation that are just blindly following them. And you're acting like they can do no harm no matter what they do. And uh, seem to be most of the supporters of the PlayStation 5 Pro are those people. They're not really bringing in new people. You don't understand any of the big changes in industry making right now? Pulling away from exclusivity, shutting down successful studios, and yes, not remastering Bloodborne. Yeah. Yep. Bloodborne, Bloodborne. Bloodborne, Bloodborne, Bloodborne. All right, let's, um, we have some points. I think I've been putting points into body. I have intelligence, cool, technical, maxed out, of course. So we'll do this. I have another perk point. Um, <clears throat> I forgot what I was trying to put points in. There was something I was trying to work towards. Heat shield mitigation. I don't really use pyromania much. Or is this, this isn't automatic, right? Oh, for your projectile launch system. Yeah, I don't use that. Um. What's this one? Running gun. Hip firing does not consume stamina. Was it this? Blood demon? When overclock is active, 25 health for each quick hat queued on the enemy at the time you neutralize them. I thought there was something we could get for smart pistols. Because I got that Skippy smart pistol I like to start using. Um, if you max out to this one, smart synergy. When overclock is active, smart pistol, smart weapons gain instant target lock. And plus 25% damage if the enemy is affected by quick hack. That's crazy. So we got to max all this out first to get to that. 10% larger targeting reticle for smart weapons. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, they have a lot of work to do, man. All right, let's run around. Let's find another gig to do. Hello. To play Devil Advocate. Devil's Advocate. I think Sony is going in the right direction with PSSR. PSSR. What is that? PSSR. Oh shit, I forgot to pick a... Pick a new job. There's one here. Agent Saboteur. I think a lot of the jobs for Regina are also the Cyber Psycho sightings. I think that's included in those. She has 23 jobs pending and I don't see that much sitting over here. Let's see what this one is. This one's... That one's right down the street. Not too far. It's a new upscaling they're going to use. Oh, I see my... Similar to DLSS. Yeah. Um, from, from my perspective, I mean, there's a lot of games on PC that I use with DLSS. This one, for instance, right now. It, it would run like absolute garbage if I didn't have it. So that doesn't bother me. What I thought was crazy, though, was that people just want 4K 60 FPS, right? That's pretty much what the standard that people just want at a minimum to have. And I don't understand why they tried, why they tried to squeeze 8K support out of it. I'm sure it's just an awesome somebody's idea of a cool marketing, uh, you know, point to put up there. But to try to squeeze out 8K when you can't even do 4K 60 yet doesn't make any sense to me. V, gonna send you some malware on purpose. A demon by bad. The runner you're gonna help out. You gotta hack a mega building subnet. Spike it with the files I send you. More deets attached. Gotcha. 
Yeah, like I don't know anybody that has an 8K TV. I looked at trying to get an 8K TV for the wall when I was going to get a like a new screen for video editing stuff so that I could record like some gameplay in 8K if I wanted to. And they're insanely expensive, even for a smaller one. Who has 8K? Like in two or three years, sure, maybe. But man, trying to squeeze that out of it. I mean, and I think a lot of people would see that as a bullet point, like in a sheet about what the PS5 Pro can do. And they're probably like, oh man, it does 8K and it sounds cool and it makes them want to buy it more. I get the marketing part of it, but that was just stupid. Like, perfect 4K 61st on everything. You know what I mean? You have no problems with that? You use DLSS religiously? Who don't like it because the artifacts and perfections that are actively. Yeah, I don't I don't mind it. You know, and it's usually not that much unless you on computer wise, if you crank it into performance and ultra performance, then you could get some stuff, but 8K is dumb. <laughs> Even little things like having enough bandwidth on the cable to the screen becomes a problem. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I have 4K TVs, but I never even... That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Get to the main server. All right. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just going upstairs to your server room. Don't mind me. <clears throat> At this point, I don't want them to keep jacked up the resolution. Make 120 hertz 4K the cheaper standard. Yeah, I'm, I would absolutely rather play a game at 120 hertz and 4K than anything in 8K. Like the difference between 4K and 8K, like I know it's just double the pixels, but like, how could you tell the difference? You'd have to be playing, I don't know, maybe like on an 80 inch screen. And then maybe you could tell the difference in 4 and 8K. But if you're playing on like a 44 inch TV, you're not probably not going to notice the difference. You know? I don't know for sure. I've, I mean, again, I've never used it, but with my eyes as they are anyway, I can't tell the difference in that. Leaving. I got dress safe. All right. Don't need to shout. All right. Let's cut off these cameras. Um. They. The log didn't say anything about um. Trying to be quiet, right? Nah. Okay. I'm surprised they can't see me right now. Take control of the camera. Is he going upstairs? Oh, he's not. Okay. What? Double door. Did this guy just pass out? Nice. We have a couple dudes. All right. We have something we can activate ping on. No, this guy's sleeping though, so maybe let's head down now. Oh, is he awake now? Nope, he's still asleep. Nice. The computer's way back there, huh? Tell you what, though, while these guys are distracted. Ah, oh, shit, he broke out. Well, so much for being quiet.
Well, I was going to try to be sneaky. That didn't work out. I thought I saw... Oh, here's the crate. I thought the crate was on that side. I was going to take that dude that was sleeping and put him in the crate. I didn't realize this was... A, okay, I did a bad recon. That's my fault. <laughs> Ooh, money shard. 9,000 bucks. Nice. I always like trying to do things stealth first before I go... Uh, guns blazing and kill everybody. Contracts. Yeah, I don't know what that says. Okay, well, let's upload the malware and get the hell out of here. Nice. It's 10,000 bucks in the locker. Making a lot of money this time. All right. Easy. Is there anything else we need to look at? Loot? Oh, dude. There was a back way. I could have snuck right in here. And uploaded it completely without them knowing. Shit. I'll take the ammo, though. this way go I always got to remember to like look around a lot because there's always there's almost always a way to sneak in oh was that a bot is that the only message they dropped yeah get out of here Ooh, there's some goodies over here. Ah, a power shotgun. Cyberware, a second heart. Nice. I already have that, but that's cool. Synapse burnout. I actually don't think I have this quick hack. A synapse burnout. Wait, I might. Dude, this is a hell of a find. If I didn't have all this stuff already, for the most part, this would... This would be badass. Tomahawk uh, crafting spec. Another 5,000 bucks. Dude, hell yeah. So 100% could have just... There's no way out this way. Oh, this is the stairs right here. Oh, I definitely could have just like... I would have had to jump a little bit higher, but... Yeah, could have totally snuck in. Oh well. ways to get an oven. That's happy, which means I'm happy, which means you get your eddies and everyone's happy. Contract closed. Thanks, V. Anytime. Anytime, Miss Regina. Hey, man. All right. Hey, yeah, sweet guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Uh, my goal is about two hours. We went a little bit over, but I am. Uh, wait, what's this? When it rains, it pours. Glad to hear you're not bumming around. New contracts are available. Sending you the info now. New contracts for Miss Regina. Oh, so I think that number 23 is like actual contracts. Then that must not be including cyber psychos because there's quite a few of those scattered around the city. Sweet. Next time I hop on, we'll do more of those. Um, yeah, I want to do two hours, a little bit over, but I'm happy I got. I'm happy the computer didn't stress me out to the point where I didn't stream because it took me an hour to get things set up. Everything was jacking up, but uh, 
a quick look at one. Yeah, turn it to another 30 minutes. Now, I only have stomach in my food. I need to go get something to eat. I got to run some errands this morning, too. Um, but yeah, I'll be back soon. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for the subs and the raids and the follows and all that good stuff. It's always fun hopping on stream and just playing something chill and letting it be non-stressful, but... I've over, like I mentioned earlier in the stream, I, I've overcomplicated things by putting an extra computer in place and trying to make it so I can stream pretty much anything that I want to play at any time. It's, something's always messed up or audio jacked up or something. But, anyways, I'll try to simplify things and uh, show up, show up on stream a little more. Yeah, you too, Nitro. Thanks for stopping by, dude. All right, guys, I'm gonna take off. Y'all enjoy the rest of your Saturday and stay safe. Cheers.